Hi everyone, Rob here again, and we're going to continue on with our demonstrations of how to create your own augmented reality treasure map. It's a magic treasure map that appears when your students or any other users scan the blank map with the HP Reveal Augmented Reality app on their phone or any other mobile device. In a previous video, I showed you how to use a free tool called Canva to create a blank treasure map, similar to the one that you see on the screen here now, but with just text and no floating AR layers on it. Today, I'm going to show you how to take that first step of uh, actually turning your blank map into a magic map and adding a few basic uh, image layers to it and a few basic actions to it. So the first thing that you need to do now is have your image file of your map ready to upload and log in to HP Reveal. If you don't already have an account, you can create a free one. I've already got an account, so I'm going to go to the HP Reveal Studio site and click on here. You can click on create an account if you don't have one, but I have an account. So I will log in with my username. And once I'm logged in, I can start creating my treasure map. As you can see, I've got a few projects created in here already. But what I want to do is create what is called a new aura. So I just click on create new aura up here. And I need to upload what will, what will be my trigger image. That's the image that students or any users will actually scan with their mobile device. Now I created that in the uh, last video and I have saved it as treasure hunt demo which is still here in my downloads folder so I'll just upload that right here. And I want to give this uh, a name so I think treasure map demo is absolutely fine for this and here's the name that I'm going to upload. I don't need any particular coordinates anything like that uh, on here. I'm just going to upload this and hit save. Now, once your trigger image is uploaded, you'll see it on the screen here. It's looking fairly small at the moment because it's trying to show me the whole image. So what I need to do is hit uh, next. I can, I can give this a name at this point, so I will. I will call this the treasure map demo. And I'm just going to put two on the end there because I'm not sure if I've used that name before. So I will hit next and it's going to zoom in on the map. And now I can start adding layers to this treasure map. I can move around on my image here. You can see this is the image that we created in the previous video. And I want to add just a couple of basic images here. And I, to do that, I click on click to upload an overlay. An overlay is an image that will appear on top, or an element that will appear on top. When you look at uh, this uh, option screen here, you'll see there's a number of options. You can upload videos, images, 3D models, audio files. I'm not going to work with anything as complex as a 3D model at this point. I'm just going to work with a video. And now I have to actually upload that from my computer. So I just click on Browse. And I can go to my folder where I have a bunch of images saved already. And I'm going to click on Start Here. So I will open that. Hit Save. It's going to upload this overlay. Now it's going to make it gigantic on you and make it as big as the whole thing. I don't really want to leave it that big. I want this just to be one small element on here. So I can drag this, resize it, do whatever I want with it, and put it wherever I want. Usually I like my students to start up at the top in a logical place. So I've got my Start Here button for them. If I wanted to add uh, an action to this, it's quite easy. I simply need to click on Add Actions for this overlay over here. And I want this action to occur when the overlay is, ta is tapped. I'll click on Add Action. And maybe in this case, I'll load a URL. So I'm going to go to my YouTube channel. And I'm going to grab um, 
a simple video that I have. So let's grab one of my own so I don't get in trouble for copyright infringement. So how about this one here? Hi there, meet Rob Power. Okay, I just need to grab the sharing URL for this. Copy that. Come back in here. Paste it in place. And save. That's all there is to adding uh, a YouTube URL to this. If I want to add another overlay to it, I simply click on click to add overlay again. And another image. And I'll browse to find the image. Well, let's take a different image in this case. I have a little X marks the spot somewhere that I can upload. Here we go. Why not share your treasure map? Because at the end of this workshop that I'm creating these videos for, I'm going to ask everyone to share their treasure maps. Now you can see it's gotten right big again. I don't need it this big. I want it to perhaps float above the other X that I already have on here. So there we go, I'll have it float over that. Now obviously they need to do something to get from point A to point B uh, after watching your start instructions. So you could perhaps add a, another layer. I'll add one more simple layer to this that's going to be a static layer. So again, it's going to be an image. I'm just going to grab an arrow that I already have ready, a nice red arrow. There we go. Any one of these arrows would be good. I'll grab this one. So they're going to go from point A to point B on the map. And the map is going to show them which direction to head. So I'll have my arrow. I can stretch my dimensions on this however I see fit. And put it wherever I like on my map. So they're going to go from there down to there. Now I have got this almost ready to go. And uh, if you're happy with how you have this set up, all you need to do is hit preview to see what your map will look like before anyone scans it. Once you're at this point, you can actually click on save image as and download what they call a training image. It's called a training image because you'll train your HP Reveal app on it, and it will reveal the treasure map. And let's call this today's date, November the 5th. And I just hit save. Now, anyone can scan this image so long as they have the app, and they're following me because I'm using a free account. It doesn't matter if I go back in and change what layers I have on here. The map will automatically, magically update for them. In a future video, I'm going to go over how to add a few more complex actions to some of these layers.